Right, I thought I'd better do a update on my uh, latest Bootia Odorata, which I purchased online. I'm sure if you've watched uh, any of my other videos you, about this palm, you, you know the backstory. So it went in the ground beginning of September, so it's the middle of October now. So we'll say six weeks it's been in the ground. Um, my only concern was it was it when we got it, it was the, the fronds were tied up and the centre fronds were really yellow so since then I did actually go back and watch the original video just to see how yellow they were and to see the state of you know position of the fronds if they'd moved any in the, in the six weeks since it's been in and uh, yeah looking at it you can definitely see that there's no yellow at all I don't know the, the, the camera do tend to pick up a little bit more yellowy than reality but by eye there's no yellow in there whatsoever that's all greened up nicely we had uh, three fronds in the centre and one has definitely started to open up as we can see here so this this frond was you know quite yellow and now greened up and open slightly and uh, the other two have totally greened up I wouldn't expect them to open fully till next year so we can say in a six weeks has been in the ground you know that that biggest center spear has opened so we know that seems to be happy at the moment so the question is how's it gonna behave over winter with uh, the high probability of this being imported from Italy or some other southern European country the the chances are it's probably never seen a, a really harsh winter like we probably get here so uh, what I don't want to be doing is wrapping this at all or or any for any prolonged periods I'm not going to be building anything around it to protect it this you know it's in the ground they are hardy but like I say, there's one thing, a plant being genetically hardy, but it's another thing for it to spend all its life in, you know, southern Europe with temperate to cold winters to, you know, moving up north to the UK where it's never really probably seen prolonged cold and severe frosts. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I know southern Europe, you know, Spain and Italy, they get their cold dips so they can have a freeze and have a cold spell for a week or two but in general you know in the UK we could have potentially frost after frost for for months not that we do but potentially you know that that, that risk is always there you can never predict what the winter is going to bring uh, last year was quite mild we did have some frosts not too many but yeah I'm going off the point a bit I mean the fact is this palm has been imported in my opinion and it's probably never seen a long cold winter so I will be keeping an eye on I do expect to get some uh, you know potentially brown tipping and some of the older fronds to to suffer a bit and probably get some spotting but I wouldn't expect it to outright die uh, unless we get a really sort of severe winter event which fingers crossed doesn't happen um, yeah, so I believe it's got enough trunk on it to, to be quite sturdy. I think what I probably will do with this is just play the winter uh, a day at a time. And if we do get a really bad frost, I'll probably come out the night before and uh, just wrap some fleece around the trunk or something just to protect that, you know, that grow and point the heart of the, the palm itself. And uh, obviously as soon as the, the chance of frost is gone and I'll unwrap it, I don't want, definitely don't want to be wrapping any palm really for any prolonged period of time because I believe that you're going to get damp and the cold in there and that, that will end up rotten so two or three days not a problem but yeah try and air it between if need if it's going to be a long period try and you know during the day just get that fleece off and let it dry out a bit um yeah that's a whole different story but yeah so this is the update on the the new boot here that's uh doesn't seem to have suffered from 
all this uh, travels and getting chucked in the ground. That front has moved, it has opened up. That new one, so we know we've got a, at the moment, a healthy looking palm in growth. Obviously, it's going to slow right down now, probably come a standstill in the next month or so when it does start getting cool. I mean, to be fair, for mid October, we've, we've had it quite mild. It's, you know, been, been all right. We've had a couple of cold nights, to be fair. Um, early in the week, we've got down to about five degrees, but uh, in general, it's been around eight or ten at night, so it's not too bad. The, uh, the leaves on the trees haven't really started falling yet. They are starting to turn colour, so we are approximately well, early early autumn, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll have any frost for a while, hopefully. So yeah, I think uh, a lot of people will be growing booties in the UK, and they're not always the easiest to find, especially not at a good price anyway, but... Um, Yeah, I believe um, this should do okay. Um, while we're talking about booties, I'll just uh, quickly go over to the other one. So I did buy two this year, and this one's actually cheaper than the, the first one I brought. So uh, I'll tell you how much I paid. I think this was about 260. Um, and for me, for this palm, for, for a palm nearly six foot tall, with you know, a decent amount of trunk on it. And a nice colour like that. 260 quid is an absolute bargain. And the other one I brought this year, I paid a little bit more for, so this was 329.99, so 330 quid. So that was, it's a similar sort of, uh, coloration so you, they do vary obviously we get dark green to anything all the way to sort of bluey silver whatever um so this one i quite like the form of this it's a bit more open than the other one the other one is really sort of compact this one is a little bit more open so this one went in i think around june so it's had sort of the best of the summer season and we did do a, a raised area for this one just due to the fact I don't get quite so much sun as the other one, so I believe that uh, that's going to help, um, you know, just in general, warming up quicker in the spring in a raised bed and also improving the drainage. Anyway, so yeah, this is the, the other one we brought. Um, again, quite a nice, quite a nice specimen, nice colour. Trunks obviously nowhere near as big. This is again, this is raised up about a, a foot over two tiers, sort of 12, six inches each. And this, to be fair, is about the same height and about six foot, maybe a little bit more on the fronds there. But obviously, it's nowhere near as big a palm because it is raised up. But yeah, again, quite a nice specimen. They are one of my favourite palms you can grow in the UK. Just you know, for something with a more tropical look. That's, uh, I don't think you can beat it for something as, as hard as it is. And the, the figures will vary depending on where you read. I mean, anywhere, I've read anywhere between minus six to minus 10. Um, I'll, that'll depend on how wet, what sort of soil you've got in it. And, and, all sorts like that really it's not just about the air temperature it's about the ground drainage situation and whatnot so I'm not gonna say oh this, this will be hardy to minus 10 and then you get a minus 8 and that's dead because you know again it just depends so much on the duration of cold one night one off night you know dry cold won't be as bad as a prolonged week of wet cold so Again, it depends where you are in a country, how wet it is, and or how dry it is. But um, we'll leave it there. I think we've rambled on enough again. Um, so that's just an update on the, the the two new booties we brought this year. 
Thanks for watching.